Clinton and Kamala Harris in our VP pick. Minnesota Sorry, Governor. On what's next for the Democratic ticket is Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey. Thank you so much for joining us, Good Governor. Good to see you. Promise us you'll please come back on GMA3. We'd love to have you. I I'd love to. Take care, guys. All right, thank you. You too. And up next here on GMA3, the healing power of music. It really does. Social isolation and loneliness are public health crises. And our next guest believes that classical music could be just what the doctor ordered to help combat this crisis. And joining us ahead of the 2024 Festival Orchestra Concert at New York's Lincoln Center is music director Jonathan. You have, you have accomplished so much, and now your orchestra is partnering with the World Health Organization to combat mental illness and, and really release the stigma. Why is it so important? How does music help? Ninth, yeah, and 10th. It's going to be a very interactive situation. You can actually text to vote with your cell phone. Composer Robert Schumann was really part of the inspiration for this project. Why was that? Well, I had a moment, particularly during COVID, I think since the day I started, I mean, having... That you are leading this storied orchestra. Have you pinched yourself? <laughs> I, I pinched myself to be there. Such an important conversation mm -hmm. that you are having, and, and doing it through music is such a beautiful way Ninth as well. And 10th, and on live stream. Still ahead on GMA3, CPR 101, Dr. Darian shows us how you can help save a life. We are back now with Dr. Darian Sutton taking a look at a new study about how some vape products dodge regulations by exploiting chemical composition loopholes. That's a lot of words there. Yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? So chemical composition loopholes, what's happening? And so there's a lot of regulation on products like tobacco and nicotine, and there's a lot of or nicotine analog. So it's not necessarily than regular nicotine. So it's a, a word of caution. You know it's my personal mission to Listen to this ER doctor. Oh, of course <laughs> you should. And, and these products are... So my advice for parents is having an open conversation. So talking about those signs and explaining to them if you can't put it down we have talked extensively on GMA GMA 3 about the rabbit hole that comes with vaping and yeah. it starts with that and sometimes doesn't end there yeah. so mm. really a cautionary tale thank you dr. Darian of course the doctor has spoken <laughs> we're back in a moment stay with us All right, welcome back. A new study is looking at disparities in what's called bystander CPR survival rates, specifically for women and black Americans. And Dr. Darian, I'll break down what we're learning. Important things I think everyone should know. And from this new study, we unfortunately realized that there are some real disparities that we have to pay attention to. When they looked at the overall numbers, CPR survival rates for everyone tended to increase for black individuals and women having lower survival rates compared to mm. their white counterparts. And men had high concerning sign, likely associated to multiple different things and also nuance when you think about the uh, emblematic, Im implicit, and about how to properly do CPR. And we're talking about CPR outside of the hospital, obviously. Yes. How do we work to close this gap? We start with alarming. simple education. I, I, okay. okay. And I wanted to teach you about basic things about CPR. The first thing, don't panic. The second thing <laughs> is that CPR, anyone can do it. It doesn't take a formal class. And of course, if someone that. is on the ground, mm -hmm. you're going to kneel down. You're going to shout and scream, try to get their attention. Are you okay? okay? Are you awake? You're going to notice that they're unconscious, mm -hmm. breathing for about 10 seconds. Okay. I speak out loud Shoulders when I'm doing. over the chest, and you're going to use your weight of your, uh, of your body to pump blood through the heart. And so as you're pumping 120 beats per minute, it's everyone songs, uses a right? different song. Mm -hmm. Staying alive? One, I use staying alive. So uh, <laughs> breathing right now, hands-only CPR is easy, it's effective, and it's as it's as effective as regular CPR with breathing for the first few minutes while you wait for and Is there such thing as pushing too hard? I was just going to ask that. That's a great question. A lot of people get afraid. One thing you have to remember is that anything you do is going to be better than nothing. Mm -hmm. If someone's heart is stopped, you're not going to be pushing too hard. A lot of people fear they're going to hurt the person. If someone isn't responding, anything you do is better than nothing. Is this same for a child? Same, it's different for a child. Okay, great we can question. go into that at some point. Yeah, with a child, you usually use one hand, but just in general, uh, uh, stand. People's lives. I'm telling you, when I get a patient into the ER, and I'll be in the ER later on, when I get a patient, my first question is, when did CPR start? CPR outside in the field. <laughs> I didn't know it lit up. Good to know. I got to check that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Darian. Thanks, Dr. Darian. And for more on how to save lives using CPR, check out the American Heart Association. This is so, so important. important. Yeah. Still ahead on GMA3, a whole new degree of difficulty for these Olympic athletes who are also... All right, welcome back. Working while parenting a young child is never easy, and you know that, of course, firsthand. I first might know hand. a thing or two. <laughs> a thing or two about it. But imagine doing it when your job is being an elite athlete and you're competing in the Olympics against the best in the world. I am not an elite athlete, <laughs> for removal of doubt. Some members of Team USA, though, they know this very well. ABC's Maggie Ruley sat down with these athletes in Paris to find out how they're juggling motherhood with the demands of their sport. Right, coming up, country music star Ashley McBride joins us at GMA3. Plus, major accessories. Tori Johnson is here.
and Billboard. And how lucky are we? The country star is with us now. Give it up for Grammy Award winner. Yeah. And looking good. Like you want to borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the devil I knew. I hear it's a mix of rock and country. Bravo, bravo. Yes, voice of velvet. What an That's awesome what I told job you before there. the, thank before you, the thank show. You, thank oh you, thank you, guys. Gosh. We appreciate that. And that is what you need to know for today. I'm Demarco Morgan. And I'm Ariel Resha. And I'm Dr. Darian. For all of us here at ABC News and Ashley and the band, thank you for being with us. Have a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah.